I'm going to show you how to test your internet speed and what to look for to make sure you're getting the internet speed you are paying for. And we're going to do this by going to a website. You're going to go to www.speedtest.net. And you want to wait for the website to fully load. You don't want to click on any of the advertisements. And this button here that kind of looks uh, really official that says start scan, that's just an advertisement also. So make sure you wait for it to load and click the begin test button right here in the center. And after you do this, it will do three things. It will check your ping time, your download speed, and your upload speed. Your ping time is the amount of time it takes for your computer to send a packet of data out onto the internet to a server and then bounce it back to your computer. So that's a round trip time. It's 51 milliseconds in my case. Most high-speed broadband internet will be somewhere between about 20 to 70 milliseconds on average. Sometimes they'll be lower. The lower the ping time, the better. And sometimes uh, you might get up around 70 or 80. Uh, that's probably okay. And it might vary a little bit depending on time of day and so forth. But when you start getting up around the 80 to 100 milliseconds or more, then you should probably be concerned because that's starting to get into some slow ping times. So while it after it does the ping time test, it will do your download and your upload speed test. Now, as you see, I'm getting about 36, almost 37 megabits per second on my download speed, and I'm getting about six and a quarter megabits upload speed. Now, I'm only paying for 30 megabits download and five megabits upload, so I'm getting very good performance from my provider, which is Time Warner Cable. So uh, you want to know roughly what you're paying for so you know you're getting what you're paying for. Uh, if you don't know what you're supposed to be getting, check your internet bill with your cable company or your telephone company or whoever you get your internet service from. And uh, you may need to log on to their account and see what package you have. Sometimes it may say you have something like the Turbo 30 package or something like that. And then you'll go look at their site and see what that Turbo 30 package really means, how, what your download and upload speed is supposed to be. And you, should, you might want to run this three or four times in a row over just a few minute period to make sure your numbers are fairly consistent. If they go up and down a lot, then you could have a problem. Or if they are significantly lower than what you're paying for. So if you're paying for 30 megabits, but you're only getting 12 megabits, you either have uh, an issue with your uh, internet speed and signal, or you could have a uh, something uh, using a lot of your bandwidth, such as Netflix or uh, YouTube users, uh, gaming consoles, things of that nature. Uh, you, if you're, if you have wireless internet. Uh, Wi-Fi in your house that's not secured. You could even have possibly a neighbor using your internet. Uh, so that happens as well. But that's how you test your internet speed. So the three things you're looking for again are your ping time. The lower the better. Uh, as long as you're 20 to 70 milliseconds, you're probably going to fall in the average range. And your download speed and your upload speed, again, uh, these should be close to what you're paying for. And uh, if they're not, then you need to investigate why you are not getting those speeds. If my video has been helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, be sure to click the little gear and check this box so that you'll receive an email notification when I upload a new video. You can also help support my channel by making a small donation on patreon.com slash Troy Young.